Hey guys, what's up? It's Jacob from Team Insanity. Now I am bringing you a basic beginner's guide to paintball, and I mean basic. If you're a seasoned player or you've played before, you know what to expect. This video probably isn't for you. These videos probably are. These are videos done by Jake that in go in detail of tips and tricks for beginners, what gear you should get as a beginner, and what's the best paintball gun slash marker you should get if you're already into the sport. This is a video for those who don't really know anything about the sport of paintball, they don't know what to expect and they're about to play in the upcoming future, or just want to know about the sport in general. So there's many reasons you could go out and play paintball. I've been a referee for many years at my local field. I've seen birthday parties from ages 10 to 60 plus. I've seen bachelor parties. I've seen work outings. There's tons and tons of reasons. You could just go because you heard about the sport and you want to go play. Completely up to you when you want to go. But you heard about it and you don't know what it is and this is why you're here. So what is paintball? So I'm not going to go give you a whole history lesson on what paintball is. You shoot gelatin balls filled with dyed oil from compressed air CO2 paintball markers and you shoot each other with them. That's about it. It started about the 70s when foresters who would mark trees dudes being dudes, they decided to shoot each other. Boom, sport was created. Many, many, many years later, it's 2016. This is where we're at, you're about to go play. Now there's about three different types of paintball. There's woods ball, there is scenario paintball, and there is air ball, which is tournament, which is basically the driving force of the industry. Now, woods ball is basically what you're about to go play. Uh, it's rec ball. It's what I play most of the time. You just go out to your field That's probably out in their field is probably out in the woods or something like that And you just go out and play and you have fun. It's basically the most basic of basic um, That's what I started out with I uh, gradually moved to air ball and then I started playing snare games uh, It's completely up to you what order you're gonna play or what type you're gonna play next up is snare gameplay now these are Field, small or big, will throw big games. And now this is games where several hundred or even thousands of paintball players will all come together. Sometimes they're just one day. Sometimes it's two-day events, the weekend, anything like that. Um, it's where just tons of paintball players get together. And from two teams to six, seven teams go out in the field at once. And they all fight for different objectives. It's a game that lasts all day. It's not little tiny games. Sometimes it's back-to-back -back games and whoever has the most point at the end wins, but it's just a giant, fun-filled weekend full of people from all over coming out to play. Definitely great experiences. You should definitely check those out. Now, the third one is speedball, airball. It's tournament play. Like I said, it's a big part of the industry that keeps paintball going. Now, if you ever just type in speedball, paintball, anything like that, you're probably going to see people who are wearing fancy, colorful, stylish clothing with guns that look $1,000. And trust me, they are $1,000 because paintball is expensive once you get into the sport. So make sure you have money. Um, but that's what speedball is. It's where you go out on a kind of a smaller field filled with airball bunkers and you go out for a short matches and you play for points and your own team they can be three man five man there have been ten mans it's completely up to what kind of tournament you are playing all right so you you know what paintball is a little bit now you know how it started you know what to expect now with each type of paintball there's going to be rules now there's different rules for scenario or speedball woods ball all that kind of jazz but no matter what you're playing there are two very important rules that you need to know. Not saying that all the other rules are not important, but these are ones that are going to either break or make your time at the paintball field. Now this is your mask and your barrel cover. Now I am, like I said, I'm a referee. I go over orientations all the time with new players. All right, so I give a five, 10 minute little speech about the rules and how if you don't follow them, you won't be able to play. I'm not gonna give you that speech, all right? I'm just gonna go over what the field you're going to is probably gonna tell you, all right? They're going to say, your mask rule is your most important rule. It is. That's what's stopping a paintball from hitting your face. I'm sure you guys all know what a mask is. You wear it um, so you don't actually get hit anywhere over there. Some masks cover your whole head. Some just cover your face, the most basic ones. This is stopping a paintball from hitting you in the eye and losing your eye. Now, you also have your barrel cover rule, which is the little cover that goes at the end of your barrel. It's stop paintball from coming out uh, if, you're, if no one's got their mask on the staging area. Like I said, these are rules that... 
your paintball field should tell you. Um, this, Like I said, I'm not going to go over it all. This is just rules you should expect. Maybe do a little more research on it if you're not keen to what exactly rules you should strictly follow and all like that. Now, like I said, I've been a ref. I've had to tell people to follow rules. I've seen people break the rules. I've been playing for seven years. So is Jake. So is Nick. We've accidentally broken rules before. I'm here to tell you that it is going to happen. You might break your rule. A rule you didn't even know existed. A rule that is so big such as the mask or the barrel cover rule. You might break it. I've seen young kids break rules. I've seen older adults break rules. You And you have to be... The refs are going to be strict depending on the field. They're going to be strict with you. I've seen some fields... Like I said, it depends on the field you go to on how the refs are. But some refs will just tell you to cut it out. Other refs will have you sit a game because it's either, and that's how it should be, it's either your mask or your eye. And guess what? If it's not the mask, you're going to lose an eye because those paintballs are going very fast. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to tell you the reality of paintball and its safety and the mask and everything like that. Like I said, I've had to sit kids out for not playing. I've, I've seen them cry and I feel horrible about it. But if they don't follow the rules, they won't be able to play because they can't follow the safety rules. I've seen adults who feel self-entitled because they're older and that they don't have to follow the rules. But guess what? you got to set out too, man. you got to follow the rules. But I'm here to tell you that you might break them. Do not get disencouraged if you accidentally break a rule and you sit out. Please do not. I extremely urge you. I've seen people get pissed off and walk off the... Just leave the field in general because they couldn't sit out for a game because they couldn't follow the rule. Do not get disencouraged. Jake, the almighty paintball guy over there, First time he played, lifted his mask, got kicked off the field. It happens. He's still going strong seven years later. It happens. Trust me. Expect to maybe break a rule or two, but don't get disencouraged. Please do not. All right, so next we're going to talk about what to wear when you're going to a paintball field. I've seen, that's one of the very common questions I get when we are on the Ask Anything videos, people say, I'm going out to play, what should I wear? Or Team Insanity, what do you wear? Now, what you wear the first time you played. You can wear anything you want. As a referee, I've seen people decked out in camouflage. I've seen people decked out in tournament gear. It's completely up to you. I've seen people wear shorts and nothing else. They go shirtless. It's completely up to you. If you don't care about getting shot without a shirt on, don't wear a shirt. If you care about maybe getting some wilds, I've seen people wear several layers of clothing. When I first went out, I was one of those guys who wore a lot of camouflage, all right? Before we were all fancy and wore speedball gear, Jake, Nick, and I all wore camouflage. We all played with Titmans. It happens. That's what you're getting into the sport. Wear whatever you want. It's completely up to you, all right? Now, one of the most common questions I get is a referee, and I'm just trying to provide some insight for those who haven't played before. I get, does it hurt? Does playing paintball hurt? And I'm going to, this is exactly what I tell them. Now, like I said, it does have to do, that's why I'm connecting with the question of what you're going to wear, because it sometimes depends on what you wear. Some people wear a full body armor and they barely feel it. Some people wear nothing and they feel it a lot. When you're playing paintball, if you're out on the field, running around, your adrenaline is going, your blood is pumping, and you get hit, it is not going to hurt nearly as much as if you are hiding in the back of the field behind a bunker, cold, shaking a little bit, it's going to hurt a lot more if you're just hiding there and your blood isn't pumping at all, you got no adrenaline. You get hit, it's going to sting a little bit, I won't lie. But if you're having fun, having the time of your life, as you should be when you're playing paintball, it will not hurt, I promise. It'll sting a little bit, but it's fine. It's what the sport is. You being in the very back of the field while everyone's up there and, hey, dude, what are you doing? Oh, I'm snipering people. No, you're not. You're just in the back. Go up in the field, interact with the other players. Please do that. So I kind of wanted to do this this part early in the video, but I actually skipped over it, is if you're not sure where to play, just Google your local field. If you're out in the city, it's most likely there's not a lot of paintball fields near you. If you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's likely there are. Big fields, CPX, health survivors, they have, they're out in the middle of nowhere because they need a lot of land. All right. Do your research on your field. I can't stress this enough. I haven't done research on some fields, and I've had a bad time. I've done research on other fields, and I've had a great time. Depending on the field, just anywhere else you go in the world, some places are bad, some places are good. I've seen refs who don't care about, they just want to go home. They don't really care about you. They don't interact with you. They don't care about the rules. 
and they won't go and paint check anything like that. And I've seen amazing refs who will interact with the players while still having safety in their mind. And they will just have a good time. All right, so make sure you know what kind of field you're going for. All right, make sure you know if it's a safe field or it's a careless field. Now, going back to what you're going to wear. When you start going into paintball, there's a lot of gear, all right, that you're going to see. New different kinds of masks, hoppers, paintball markers, different attire. It's completely up to you what you want to do. When you're first going, you're most likely just going to shoot a rental. And sometimes they have, like, uh, Empire chest pads that you might want to wear. It's completely up to you. But they're going to give you your rental gear, the mask, and all the basic stuff, a rental pop pack. That's fine. I used that for over a year when I started playing. It's fine. Just because you see other people wearing fancy stuff doesn't mean you need to, too. All right? Keep that in mind. But one of the great things about paintball is there's so many options. You can have any gun you want if you have the money. You can change hoppers, tanks, guns, different types of jerseys. If you start, you can start a team and you can have all wear the same things. You can have crazy colors. One of the best things about going to paintball events is seeing everyone, such a diverse crowd of how people act. Some people are extremely serious, some people are extremely comical. All right, that's one of the best things. So wear whatever you want. Like I said, in the beginning of the video, I gave those links. Now that you know what paintball is a little bit, go check those videos out. What's the best gear for a paintball player? What gun should I shoot? What are some tips and tricks to help me be a better player? All right, go check those videos out. Now, that's honestly about it. It wasn't too long of a video. I could go in so much more detail. I'm not going to though, because I just want, you guys need to go out and have fun. There's so much in this world of paintball that this video and an hour video won't even scratch the surface of what the sport is. I've met so many friends. I've met so many family through the sport. It's unreal. You will have the time of your life. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I gave you a lot of information and go have fun.